I want to make you guys aware of a new plugin that just got released this summer that is absolutely fantastic. It takes text elements and makes a slideshow out of them just like you would do with images at OBS Studio. It is absolutely perfect for scripture, lyrics, all kinds of stuff. If it's text and you want to scroll it in front of the screen, this is your plugin. I can't wait to show you. Let's get some. Electrify your online presence with live streaming. There are many other videos that I've created that allow you to scroll text in front of the screen in OBS Studio. So if you're looking for some other solutions fast, I've created a bunch of links that go to specific topics in these videos that will get you a solution quickly. So don't forget to check the description so that you can get access to that information. Also, I'm coming out with new stuff all the time about OBS Studio and live stream technology. So don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so that you're made aware when my new videos come out. Okay. Apostle Matthew chimed in and asked about how to put Bible scripture on OBS. That's why we're here right now. A lot of church admins watch this channel to try to make their services more appealing to their congregation. So I want to thank everybody, especially Pastor Prince, for watching the show from Africa. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Let's get started. Okay, here's what we're going to cover in this tutorial. First, we'll get into the download and installation of the plugin. We'll give it a first-time test in OBS Studio just to make sure that it's there and working. Then I'll show you how to set up the dock, which is almost like a visual interface that allows you to manually advance to the next slide to the next, which is very helpful. So the dock is important. I'll show you how to set that up. Then we'll get into the settings, and I will touch only on the settings that are important to understand. I don't want to go through the whole rigmarole with all the settings. We'd be here for a half an hour, and I know you're busy, and so am I. So we'll just cut to the chase and get to the important stuff. Then I will show you how to use an external TXT file to show blocks of text, not just one line, but multiple lines. And then we'll finally dig into setting up hotkeys so that you can advance the slides with arrow keys. All right, cool, let's go. Okay, let's download and install the plugin. You can find a link in the description or you can search the following. And let me tell you something, I've made about 20 takes of this because I can't say this. Let's see if I can say it right. Search OBS-text-slideshow, yes. Once you do that, you'll find the page with no worries. Once you get here, go to download button in the upper right hand corner. Shut down your OBS Studio, that's crucial. If you have a Mac, you can choose the .pkg file, download that and install it. If you have a PC, you wanna download the .exe file, scan it with your virus protection to make sure that it's working beautifully. Double click it, let it go through its installation process. Once it's done, you can turn OBS Studio back on and you're in business. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, okay. In an effort to get you a result quickly, let's enter some text into the plugin manually just to make sure that it's working properly. So what we'll do is go under sources and click the plus sign and select the new application called Text Slideshow GDI. So select it, hit OK, and it will show you this interface. So what we'll do is we'll add some slide text and we'll hit the plus sign on the right hand side here and I'll just add some lines of text, OK? And we'll add threes, here we go. So as you see, the text lines are entered individually in the field. Okay, I'll hit OK to this. And here it is. It's showing it in the main screen. Let's see if it cycles by. There it goes. It went straight to two. So we know for a fact this is working and we are in good business. So let's move on to viewing the dock that is associated with this plugin. If you go to View, Docs, and select the new OBS text slideshow. It will give you this square thing, and I recommend you slide it over here next to the main viewport right there. And the beauty of the dock is that if you choose one of the lines, it'll go right to it right away. See that? Which is really great. So it's a active interface that controls what you see when you click it. Let's talk about settings, but I don't want to bore you to death and go through every single one because a lot of them are self-explanatory. What I'd like to do is go over some of the settings that may confuse you. The first one is understanding the bounding box. So for example, here we have three lines of text. They all have the same amount of characters. And when I scroll from one to the next, they're all the same font, right? If I take the bounding box and reduce it in size, 
the font size of the text changes because it's called what I refer to as liquid design. The fonts are a percentage of the size of the bounding box, right? What happens if you go into properties, hit the plus sign, and add a longer string of text? I'll hit OK. Do you see what happened to the font size? The bounding box conforms to the longest string of text. See that? So you have to be cognizant of what you're entering into the system. You can't add these super long sentences because it will make the text size super duper small for the other lines that don't have as many characters. So that's where, when I go into properties, read from a single file come into play because it allows you to have two, three, or four lines wrapped so that you're keeping your character length per line at a minimum so that the font size is not negatively impacted. And I will review that in just a moment. Another one that I want to explain is the visibility behavior. Always select stop when not visible. That way you're not overly taxing your CPU. If you're not viewing the resource, you don't want it running in the background. The next thing I want to review is the time between slides and transition speed. What I want you to remember is that 1,000 milliseconds equals one second. Bounding box size should be automatic. The font size, if I click select font, always choose a font size that is huge. I would recommend 400 because sometimes there's scenarios where the system will want to expand the size of the text and if you have a small text size you get something that looks like this. See how it's fuzzy? Always go with a big size that way the system is reducing the size to fit it versus growing it to fit it and you don't get the fuzzy look. You can make the color of the text anything you want, but it seems to be the industry standard to make the text white. If that text is shown on a white background, it will become very difficult to read. So what I recommend that you do is check off the outline parameter, make the outline size 20 and select the outline color of black. That way, no matter what background it's on, your viewers will remain happy because they can read the text. The reason why this will be valuable is because it will allow you to display multiple lines of text per slide, and there is one possible scenario where your text will get cut off, and I'm going to provide a solution for you. Okay, we're back in OBS Studio, and I want to go into the properties of the text slideshow, and I don't know if you realize this, but the new way of getting into the properties is just double-clicking the source layer. Watch and it pops you right in. So you don't have to right click and select properties. That's kind of the old school way. I'm gonna get rid of the slide text here one by one. Just hit the minus and get rid of them. And I'm gonna go and click the read from single file. And I'm gonna hit browse and select the text file, which is gonna be script-2. I'll hit open and I'll hit okay. Now I'm gonna go into that text file and paste in some scripture. And as you can see, there's a lot of text in here, and there are no line returns. So if I make this window really wide, you can see that there are no line returns, okay? I'll hit File, Save, and let's uh, shut down OBS real quick and bring it back up so it can re-grab that change. And as you can see now, because the characters are so long, the font size is tiny, which is not good, and the text gets cut off. I don't know if you can see that, but right here, you can see that it gets cropped. So that's really funky and we need to fix that. So what you need to do is go back into the text file and add line returns so that your text can be seen. So what I'm gonna do right now is quickly make those line returns and I'll add some music here because I love music sometimes when I'm playing video. So here we go. Okay, I just resaved the text file, and in order for OBS to re-grab that change, I had to shut it down and bring it back up again. And here we are, and the first block of text looks terrific in the display, but as soon as I click the second one, you can see the right-hand side gets cut off, 
And the reason why is because there's a lot of text inside the bounding box. This is the result of the font size being too large. So if I double click the text slideshow source again, scroll down and select font, I'm gonna change the font size from 400 to 300. And so this is sort of a experimentation kind of thing. You're just gonna to have to go in and make the size change to reflect what works for you. So if I go back now to the second one, it fits perfectly. One of the reasons why OBS Studio is such a fantastic piece of software is that they have a baked-in functionality called hotkeys, which allows you to assign keystrokes to operate plugins. And so what I'm gonna show you right now is how to advance these slides with a keystroke. So first and foremost, I'll double-click the slideshow source, and I'm gonna go into the slide mode and make sure it's set to manual. That'll shut off that automatic movement every eight seconds that we have set up here. I'll hit OK. Then I'm going to go into Settings and select Hotkeys and scroll towards the bottom. And there should be something called Text Slideshow. There it is right there. So you should see this in your Hotkey settings because you installed this plugin. And you'll see a bunch of parameters here. Play and Pause, Restart, Stop, Next Slide. I'll hit the right arrow previous slide, I'll hit the back arrow. I'll hit apply, hit OK, and let's take a look and see if it works here in OBS. It works perfectly. Look at that. Amazing. Now there are other plugins and other methods to cycle text in OBS Studio. If you're curious, check out these links right here. This is a playlist. It'll take you to a bunch of them. You'll really love them. I also have links to individual chapters within those videos in the description if you want to get to a section quickly. So I will see you over there. Best wishes to you. Good fortune with your live stream. Catch you on the flip side.